in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And today, my dear friends, in the scripture we hear the genealogy of Jesus, and that shows us how God is faithful to all of us in our human history. So let us pray for that grace to be faithful to God's covenant of love. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner by recalling to our own minds our own unworthiness, our own sinfulness and ask for God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said, Gather around, that I may tell you what will happen to you in the days to come. Assemble and hear, O sons of Jacob. Listen to you, Israel, your father. Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He crouches down, he stretches out like a lion, like a lioness who dares to rouse him. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him and the obedience of the people is his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be justice and peace shall flourish forever. Justice and peace shall flourish forever. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to your king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and the poor with justice responds, Justice and peace shall flourish forever. May the mountains yield prosperity for their people, and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor responds, Justice and peace shall flourish forever. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth response. Justice and peace shall flourish forever. May his name endure forever. His fame continue as long as the sun. May all nations be blessed in him. May they pronounce him happy. Response, justice and peace shall flourish forever. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Come wisdom of our God most high. Guiding creation with power and love. Teach us to walk in the path of knowledge. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. An account of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Aram, Aram the pa father of Armidabab, Armidabab the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of King David, and David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, Solomon the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Ashpa, Ashpa the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, the father of Johea, and Johea the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Zechoniah the father of Salatiel, Salatiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar, Eleazar the father of Matan, Matan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations, and from deportation to Babylon, to the Messiah, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as we have come to the second day in this uh, novena to as prepared for the Christmas, we reflect on the virtue of uh, the faithfulness. I know the long genealogy of Jesus that we heard in the Gospel is a difficult one, but yet it presents the faithfulness of God from Abraham to David till the birth of Jesus, the Messiah. This genealogy also identifies the imprints of God's presence in the human history. God is always faithful throughout all the generations and each person is the part of that whole history of God's everlasting love. Faithfulness is a beautiful virtue to possess as it could be defined as trustworthiness or loyalty. The Bible is not a story of a particular family or a group of people. Bible is a story of God who is faithful to all of us. Bible gives us the historical examples of how God entered into the faithful covenantal relationship with the people of Israel for all human his salvation. God's love goes beyond human logic. God is generous in mercy, unreasonable in love, and full of compassion. God's plan 
is for the best of every person, happiness for everyone, and salvation to all. God welcomes everyone, no matter what time it is, who the person is, and what are their capacity. God provides for each one's need without any partiality or favoritism. We are called to celebrate God's generosity for everyone and share in God's graces. We need to rejoice and not feel jealousy when someone changes and becomes a better person and work towards justice and peace, stand for equality and dignity of each person, and support those who are in need of healing, and pray for the who are in need of the conversion of heart, so that we can all become the witnesses to God's love. We are called to be faithful to that commandment of Jesus to love God and our neighbor. And it was St. Therese of, uh, of Calcutta said, Be faithful in small things, because it is in them that your strength lies. And again, it was St. Francis of Assisi who invites us to pray, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, where there is hatred, let me sow love, where there is injury, pardon, and where there is doubt, faith. Amen. My dear friends, let us put before our God all our prayers and intentions. Let us pray in a special way that this season of Advent may be a time for us to reflect on God's faithfulness to each one of us and invite us to enter into God's covenantal relationship, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all families with our own human histories and with our own struggles and joys that we may always be united in God's love, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all families that are struggling and grieving at this time because of someone might have died. We pray for the gift of loving consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, especially now, for all who are in need of healing, who are in the hospitals and nursing homes, people who struggle with physical illness, emotional anxiety and spiritual spiritual illness that god may bring us the gift of healing to all we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us keep a moment in silence and put before our god our own personal petitions that we have gracious and loving father we offer you all these prayers and those prayers very deep in our hearts. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Christ, 
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in you was may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devotedly here below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy and the entire people of God. I would like to offer this Mass for all of your intentions, for thanksgiving, for healing, for the repose of soul of someone who has died in your family or in your community. In a particular way, we also offer this Mass for the personal family intentions of Gladys Zapatnata, for the repose of soul of Helen Cunio, Rolando and Donato Texon, for the healing of Alfredo Polentino Beer. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all your saints who are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Now so let us extend the peace of Christ to those who need the most. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of sting. Amen. Now let us make uh, our own spiritual communion prayer. You can join me in the prayer. Lord Jesus, we truly believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. During this time, as we are not able to receive you sacramentally, we ask you, Lord, to come into our hearts. Be united with your love, that we may always feel your loving presence in our hearts, in our families, and in our community. Unite us, guide us, and protect us. And never let us be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.